Hi, my name is Vikram Nair, and I represent Harmony Science Academy West Houston. For my physics PBL project, I built a space-time simulator to demonstrate Isaac Newton's and Albert Einstein's laws of motion. For my social studies connection, I discussed the history of these two scientists. For my English connection, I made a journal discussing the building of this project. To learn more, visit my website. First, let's discuss Newtonian gravity. Newton said that everything had gravity, no matter how small. He also said that gravity increases with mass and decreases with distance. As you can see, these two balls have a low mass, but are attracted to each other because each has gravity. These other two balls have greater mass and are therefore attracted to one another faster because each has more gravity. Now let's move on to Einstein's theory of general relativity. He said that space and time can be visualized on a single vertical plane. Matter distorts the fabric of space-time, meaning the more matter, the more distortion. As you can see, this ball with a small amount of mass makes a small dent in the fabric of space-time, whereas the bigger ball that has more mass makes a bigger dent in the fabric of space-time. This space-time simulator also demonstrates a lot of other natural phenomena. For example, it can show revolutions, like the Earth around the Sun, or even ellipses, like what comets do around the Sun. Also, it can demonstrate the entire Sun, Moon, and Earth system. So, it shows how the Moon orbits the Earth while they both orbit the Sun. This is represented with a small ball, a big ball, and the weight. This can also demonstrate how a unidirectional solar system was made. All the planets in our solar system move in one direction. But when it was formed, there were planets moving in both directions. But one direction was eliminated because there was one direction that had more planets moving in it, while the other direction was eliminated. As you can see, I have more balls in my right hand than in my left hand. When you toss these, you can see that one direction is eliminated while, one, while the other one keeps going. This space-time simulator also demonstrates things that haven't been proven yet. For example, this rod demonstrates dark matter, which forces matter apart instead of bringing it together. As you can see, the, the balls are like forced apart instead of brought together, like it should. This also has a range of practical applications. For example, it can show how in the Apollo missions, the spacecraft slingshotted around the moon to gain acceleration. This is because whenever two objects act on one, it forms a figure eight. And in this area, it collects acceleration and momentum to propel the spacecraft even farther. This pretty much concludes my project. Thanks for watching.